Victor Wenye from Belgium needs to score this or his team loses. First shot, rebound. It's a little different. You play until it ends. Chips it over the Australian goalie. Scores, and Belgium has tied it up. They're in. Penalty shots. They go on to win. That's something you missed that you never planned on watching. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you enjoy at the end, please subscribe. Boop, ba do do boop, 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 boop. World Cup qualifiers going on. India versus Qatar. India is ranked 130-something. They're trying to reach the third round of the FIFA World Cup for the first time ever. Qatar, Qatar, how do you say it? They're ranked 34. And we got a free kick coming up because they just ripped that dude to the ground. He puts the play on, flicks his nose. Okay, secret play that we've always practiced. Keeper says, oh, okay, hey, hey, hey. No one's listening. You, help out. Okay, keeper, I was going to do that anyway. They touch it. They kick it. It's in. Easy save, easy save, out of bounds. What in play? Goal. What happened? The Indian team is livid. Like, what are you talking about? It went out of bounds. Uh, referee's like, nah, nah, I didn't see it. No one saw it. So they say good goal. Unbelievable. There's some fun replays here. They're going crazy in the stands. Watch this. He saves it. Oh, he pulls it back in and number six kicks it in. If you watch number six right here, when he goes out of bounds, you can see his hands go up in defeat right here. He watches the ball go out of bounds and his hands go up and you can see his head in defeat, like, ah, and then he's like, oh, teammate kicked it back in, scores, and they count it. Did that ball fully cross the line? Had to have, right? Had to fully cross the line. Well, I think this is the best angle, and yeah. And yeah, (laughs) that thing crossed the line. Uh, Keeper, you know, don't trust the referees. Don't trust the officials. Cover that ball up. Bat it way out of bounds. They can't see. And they like the drama. So now it's tied up one-to-one. And, ah, uh, dang. They take the lead, and that's that's it. India, don't get the upset. Call home. Cry about it. What of it? The Dinos are down one run, but it's a 2-0 count. And this pitcher's absolutely about to throw a terrible pitch to Matt Davidson, your newest KBO hero. Clobbers it into the bullpen, ties the game, gingerly jogs around the bases, celebrates it. The crowd is going nuts. They're all on their feet. It's a great atmosphere in the KBO. He gets his high fives down the line, little elbow pat right here. Shout out to Battle Crush for helping him crush that ball. Add, I guess. Later on, bottom of the ninth, tie game. The hitter in front of him is going to take that little, I don't know what that pitch was, slider that didn't break, and put it into play. The bats are out. Those mini bats? I want those. Someone send me those mini bats. Like, instead of the thunder sticks, they're just little mini inflatable bats. This guy's going crazy. He's dancing. He's clapping his... Whatever he's clapping. I was going to say sandals. Oh, and guess who does it again? Matt Davidson, your newest KBO hero. Into the bleachers. Fuck yeah! Bleachers in dead center. And this fan now, he's going to collect some hugs over here. All right, watch this. He's going to collect hugs. He gets... Big ol' hugs because they won. Now he's going to run this way. And are you going to give me a hug? Arm behind? No. Dodges that. Okay. What about you? Are you? No. No hug there. Okay. I'll go back to my hug crew over there. Meanwhile, hot boy stud mustache Davidson. He gets water dumped on him. Having a blast. Your newest KBO hero, Matt Davidson. Bam! Right back where it came from. And then some. Crush that ball. And before we get to the next topic, just want to take a moment to let you know that this episode is sponsored by you. Thank you guys for putting it on. Thank you for enjoying the content. Thank you for watching and engaging. Thank you for being you. And you brought this episode to us. Now, the next one I have for you is the Zach Tucci game in the PLL, and it's awesome. So watch 
what this kid does. He's on Boston, the Boston Cannons. He used to be on the Philadelphia Water Dogs. He's playing his old team. There's 4.1 seconds left in the in the half. Okay, so this isn't the end of the game. It's just 4.1 seconds left before halftime. He's taking the face off. He wins it, grabs it, spin moves, stays on his feet. The deep throw just center between everyone's legs and scores in under four seconds before the half. Unbelievable. Two-point goal. They love it. Tucci, Tucci. That's what they're saying. Watch this. Stays on his feet and then just sends it one bounce through everyone. Goalie on Boston. Never saw it. Completely blocked. Uh, 22 seconds left. Boston's up 11 to 10. The Water Dogs are trying to counter send this thing into overtime. He's got it behind the net. Working it, trying to find the open man, trying to find the open man. Does he want it? Does he want it? Oh, blocked shot. They gather it back out. They're on a power play. We got six seconds left, five seconds left. They find Ryan Conrad, and he puts it in with under a second to go. Both halves end with crazy goals. I like that celebration. They're jumping up solo, and then they realize we're both excited. Look at that. They get in, into each other's fingers quick. That was nice. Oh, actually, I think it's kind of botched. It's not perfect. And the dude on the left, suddenly itchy ear. Suddenly itchy ear for that guy. Yeah! Yeah, let's go! Okay, how does overtime start? With a face-off. Who's taking the face-off? Zach Tucci. Whose game is it? It's Zach Tucci's game. Watch this. Immediately wins it with these, grabs it, runs to his spot, tosses it in. Five seconds, they win. Yeah! Hey, thanks for sending us to overtime, but not really needed. Five seconds. Coaches, yeah! Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah! Yeah, yeah! Coaches pumped up. I mean, that's a great game. Great game. Good job, PLL, putting on an entertaining product. And to end it, we got nine-year-old skateboarder Emma Kawakami who lands three 900s in a row. If you're my age, you remember when Tony Hawk landed the first 900. It was an awesome event. Well, there's one, and then there's another, and then there is a third. Back to back to back, nine hundreds first person to ever do it and uh kawakami had never completed a consecutive 900s let alone three in a row just kept going just kept going in front of tony hawk who was doing the commentating didn't win because the judges were like we like diversity in our tricks shut up first person to ever do something nine years old give him a prize and if you're someone like me and you're like, 900, I can't follow all the spins. Let's slow it down. I'll slow it down. Watch. So the, the, the body is facing right of screen. So when it comes back to facing that way, that's a 360, which is one spin. Boom. That's one. And then here's the second spin. Boom. That's two. So that would be 360 plus 360. 720. And then a 180 at the end. It's two and a half spins. So there you go. If you're like me and you're like, hey, what is, what's, slow it down. I can't follow all that spinning. There's one, two, and three on the landing. And then one, two, three. Well, two and a half, you know. Yeah, half. So that's awesome. Nine years old. Unbelievable. What, what were you doing at nine? That? This kid has no idea how hard that stuff is. Because he just was born into it. Anyway, that was everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. Fan of the week. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, him or her. What you got? Please vote. Goodbye, guys. Love you.